Oscar Ortiz regularly commutes on TriMet. In February, he was on bus 77. I was on my way to work. He saw a man smoking at the back of the bus and decided to tell the driver. I said, I think somebody, that is somebody smoking in the bus. I went back to my seat. Ortiz says the man who was smoking walked up to him, and because of what happened next, he was too nervous to show his face on camera. He called me names. He called me He spat on me. Ortiz, who's a gay man, was in shock. My mind get, got fixated on, on that word. Nothing else mattered at that point. Then he said the man punched him in the face. Tell the driver and say, call the police. This is a photo of the man. Multnomah County Sheriff's deputies are still looking for him. The man walked away. Then Ortiz said a few minutes later, he came back and punched him again before leaving the bus. Ortiz says he was disoriented. The TriMet driver asked him if he needed medical attention. And I say, I don't need an ambulance, but I do think they need some type of help. I need, I need help. But didn't call 911. Ortiz still doesn't understand why. TriMet says the driver did call their operations command center and asked Ortiz if he needed an ambulance. A spokesperson said that Ortiz indicated he did not need medical attention, and the operator verified comments Mr. Ortiz was making that Mr. Ortiz planned to call 911 directly. That's when he stepped off the bus at 102 in Halsey and called police himself. It made me feel like I don't count. While he's concerned that his attacker is still on the streets, he's even more worried about TriMet's safety protocols. I want for people to know when they are in the bus, they are practically in their own. TriMet says they follow the direction of the rider. If they don't have visible injuries or they choose to call 911 on their own, the driver doesn't call for help. I kind of feel like a TriMet should change some things. According to TriMet, assaults related to the transit system decreased 59 percent from 2022 to 2023. Still, a TriMet survey shows riders are worried about safety. Last October, 8 in 10 riders said other riders' behavior is the reason they feel unsafe on board. I have seen other people get punched. I have seen other people get hurt. But I never expected to actually be the person that gets hurt. Now the photo of the man that you saw there, the one accused of attacking Ortiz. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office is still looking for him. They're investigating it as a bias crime.